Hey kids, welcome back to Second Step. In Second Step, you've been learning all about how to calm yourself down when you're feeling those strong emotions. And we've been using skills for learning to do just that. We focused on two main skills. That is focusing your attention on your body and using self-talk to help talk yourself out of these things. Today, we're gonna to be jumping in to the next step in this problem. That step is problem solving. You use more skills for learning to help problem solve, to help improve or fix the situation that you're in. So let's start off by listening to the problem solving song. in trouble and I don't know what to do. There are four problem solving steps that always help me through. Number one, it's the yes step. Yes, the problem. What is the problem? Number two, it's the T step. T, think of solutions. What can we do? Number three, it's the E step. E, explore consequences. What might happen? Number four, the P step. P, pick the best solution. What will work the best? So let's all remember the four problem solving steps. Let's say them one time over so we never forget. One, two, three, four. S T E P. What is the yes step? Say the problem. What is the T step? What is the E step? Explore consequences. What is the P step? Pick the best solution. If I'm stuck and in trouble and I don't know what to do, I use the problem solving steps. They always help me through. Cause I am a problem solver. 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 I say I am a problem solver. 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 This is Jevin. Jevin is having a problem. The teacher had asked everybody to read a book with a partner and he wanted to be Van's partner, but Van chose somebody else. All of the other students already seem to have partners. Hmm. Think about how Jevin is feeling. I think he might feel a little unsure, maybe disappointed, possibly jealous. What clues tell you how Jevin feels? You can look at the expression on his face, or the way his body looks, or maybe just think about the situation. We previously learned that when you have strong feelings, you cannot really think well, and you need to calm down before solving a problem. Do you think that Jevin needs to calm down? I don't think so. He only seems a little bit upset. Since he's not having strong feelings, he can go ahead and think about his problem. Our first problem solving step is to S, say the problem. When you have a problem, it is very important to use self-talk and say what the problem is out loud or inside your head. Think about how you could say what Jevin's problem is. You could say he needs to find a partner. Jevin uses self-talk and he says to himself, okay, I can't work with Van, I need to find another partner. Using his self-talk and saying the problem to himself helps him understand the problem. The second step is T, think of solutions. That means to come up with lots of ideas to solve the problem. Jevin uses self-talk again and says to himself, hmm, what can I do? It reminds him to think of solutions to his problem. Pretend you are Jevin. See if you can think of at least two solutions to his problem. Jevin could walk around and see if somebody else needed a partner. He could ask to work with another pair. 
Or maybe he could ask a teacher for help. If you thought of any of those ideas, put your hands on your head. Jevin picks walking around. He focuses his attention on the other children to see if there's someone else without a partner, and he finds Josie standing by herself. He asks if he can work with her. Josie is happy he asked because she didn't have a partner either, and she didn't know what to do. All right, friends, it's time that we get some practice saying those first two steps together. That way we can lock it into our memory so we can use it when we actually need it. Repeat after me. Say the problem. Think of solutions. Now, I want you to spin around two times. Ready? One, two. Let's say it again, but this time we'll say it together. Here we go. Say the problem. Think of solutions. Great job. Everyone sit down. And it's time to say them again. Here we go. Say the problem. Think of solutions. Great job. This is Samara. She's watching Lucy and Paolo playing with blocks. They're making pretend buildings and roads. Samara wants to join in their game. She knows that they'll probably let her play if she's friendly and gives them an idea for making the game more fun. She's looking carefully at the toys in front of her to figure out the most fun ideas. Using self-talk, she says, well, I could tell them I want to make a zoo with all the animals. Now, pretend you're Samara. Look carefully at everything in the photo. See if you can think of some fun ideas. Wow, those are some good ideas. I was thinking maybe they could build a fire station for the fire truck. Samara keeps on using her self-talk. She keeps looking at the toys and coming up with different ideas. She decides that the best idea is to say she could build a fire station. She tells Lucy and Paolo her idea in a friendly voice. She says that if there was a fire, she could drive the truck to the burning building, put out the fire, and rescue all the people. Lucy and Paolo are excited about the fire station idea, and they let Samara play with them. Today, you started learning about how to solve problems. We learned the first two steps in solving problems. Say them with me. Say the problem. Think of a solution. When you have a problem, it's important that you use your self-talk to help you work it out. You can talk it out loud or in your head. This week, if you have a problem you need to solve, try our first two steps. Say the problem and think of a solution. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye!